Yes, thank you. May I start, doctor? So, uh, yes, the floor is yours. The floor is yours, Hamzi, and good luck. First, we must know the definition of the <coughs> yes, Hamzi. All the notes are the right in the trees. The notes who are higher and connected by branch are called dominated notes. Mm -hmm. So the definition of domination when the notes are higher in the tree than others' notes and connected to them by a branch. Mm, nice. All right. We have configuration. It means the high and connection. So that's two things we must focus on when we talk about domination. Mm -hmm. For example, M and M, M, the M node dominate N, also it's dominate O because they connected yes. to each other by a branch and this branch goes downly. Downward, yes. But only M, um, only N and O, Hamza, or what? So oh. M dominates N and M dominates O. Also, we can say M dominate the eight notes, Except. the terminal and non-terminal notes. M dominates everything. Nice. Yes. What about N, Hamza? N, uh, uh, N here dominates the three notes. They are D, E, and F. Mm -hmm. What about O? O dominates H, I, G. J, yes. So as Hamza mentioned, if A is higher than B, and if we trace a branch or a line, it goes downward, then we say that A dominates B. So now, Hamza, can we say that N dominates H? No. Why? Not we can't say that because there is no branch between them. Excellent. Ex excellent, Hamzi. Excellent. The node yes. is the node will dominate another node if there is a branch connected between them downly mm -hmm. downward. Excellent. Excellent. So now we have to move on to ex exhaustive domination mm -hmm. yes Hamza. the definition of the exhaustive domination is a set of terminal nodes they are a set of terminal nodes it means the nodes dominates just the set of terminal nodes which are members in a set mm -hmm. What are the conditions of, of exhaustive domination, Hamzi? The condition, there are three domination, exhaustive domination. Yes. So we have two conditions, Hamzi. That node A exhaustively dominates. So exhaustive domination is type of domination but it is a little bit, it is a special kind or type of domination. So exhaustively dominates a set. Remember when we said a set of terminal nodes. This set can be one or two or three or four nodes or five nodes provided. So we have two conditions. Condition one, Hamza, node A dominates all members of the set. So if A dominates B and C and D, then there is no member of the set that is not dominated by A. This is condition one. So condition one, it dominates all members of the set. Condition number two, 
There is no terminal node G dominated by A that is not a member of the set. We will explain this later. So for now, Hamza, we have, and everyone, we have two conditions, right? Right. Yes, Hamza, go ahead. The exhaustive domination, it means immediately. Notes of exhaustive domination are indicated with curly brackets. The exhaustive domination. Okay, nice. The node dominates connected set of nodes connected. Hamzik. Hamzik, can you show? Yes. Yes. Doctor, right. my, my friend Roaz Gailey. Hamza, can you show us? You. Yes, we'll show you, we'll show us the trees. <coughs> yes, I Hamza? mean, my friend uh, Roaz Gailey will show us the slides. Okay. You will. So, Ro is going to start now? No, I will, I will continue to say about the definition of co constituent, and after that, Ro will start. Yes, yes. Constituent is a set okay. of terminal exhaustively nodes dominated by a single node. For example, a dominate B and C and D. The constituent is all yes, the same. Good. As you can see in the tree in 15, yes, B, C, D is the, is the constituent. Excellent. Constituent of, it is just one member of the set that dominates by A. So B is a constituent of A. Yes. C also is a constituent of A, and D is also a constituent yes. of A. So here is yes. the B. But can we say Hamza B is a constituent? Hamza, can we say that B? Okay. Can we say that B is a constituent? No. We just can say. No. B is a constituent of A. Excellent. B is a B is a constituent of A. We can say here in 15, A is a constituent. A is a constituent. Or we can say the set, you see here the curly brackets, as has as as as, as Hamza mentioned, as Hamza mentioned, the curly brackets. We say either A is a constituent or the set BCD is a constituent. But B alone is not. C alone is not. B is a constituent of A, C is a constituent of A, and D is a constituent of A. In other words, B is one member of the set BCD. C is an, one member of the set BCD, and D is one member. Yes, Hans. I finished, Doctor. Okay, okay. So, okay, okay, Hamza, thank you very much. I, I know that you don't have, uh, I mean, uh, a laptop or a smartphone to have PowerPoint presentation, and it, it is, I tried to help you and to share, to share the screen with you uh, so that you explain the trees 15 and 16 and 17 uh, for us to show, because uh, in syntax, we need the trees, we need to apply, we need to show uh, this on trees. But thank you, Hamza, for this uh, good organization. So you gave uh, the, the, theoretical, the theoretical part. So Hamza, Hamza has given or provided or presented the theoretical part, and Roa will show us the slides with some trees. 
and to explain why in 15, for example, in 15, uh, A exhaustively dominates B, C, D. But in 16, A does not exhaustively dominate B, C, D. And in 17, A does not exhaustively dominate B, C, D. Why? Thank you uh, very much, Hamza. Thank you again, Hamza, for providing the, the, the theory or the theoretical part of the presentation. And Roa, are you with us? Yes, doctor. Okay, so I'm going to make you, would you please raise your hand so that I can? Okay. Yes, I can make, I want to make you the co-host. So now, you are the co-host, so you can share your screen, your screen with us. Uh, yes, you are the co-host, Ru'a. Okay. So until Ru'a is ready, as your colleague Hamzi mentioned, that in exhaustive domination, remember that we have two conditions. Two conditions that node A, which can be in a node, of course, like seen in mathematics, the node must dominate all members of the set. So if the set, what do we mean Hamzi by set? Anything between curly brackets. Remember in chapter three, yes. in chapter three, while I was answering Sora's question, I said in chapter th two or three, the curly, curly brackets, curly brackets mean either or. دكتور يس رؤى مش قابل يعني انه يشارك الملف نو يو نيد تو شير سكرين كوني فاتحه الملف من اول قبل ما تعملي شير سكرين يس اوبن ات يس رؤى سرعه يو ار رايت اوبن ذا فايل فيرست ات ماست بي اكتيفيتد ات ماست بي اوبن اند ذن هيت شير سكرين اند تشوز ذا فايل So when I was answering Sora's question, I said that curly brackets mean either or in chapter two or three. But in this chapter, in this chapter, in this chapter, curly brackets mean set, set, the set. Yes, choose the file, Ra. Okay, so choose the file that you want to present, Ra, and you are good to go. Yeah, can anyone help? Because Ru'a is using apparently her smartphone, not the laptop. Ru'a, can you send the presentation on Telegram group? Yes. So anyone can open it and we can no. present. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we have anyone using a laptop? No one?
No one is using a laptop. There is Bushra. There is Bushra. Bushra is already recording. So yeah, Bushra, thank you. Can you share it? I think. Yes, I can. Hamza, you sent it? Syntax PDF. It is in Telegram group. Yes. Can you make me a co-host? Yes, we should. Yes, Bushra, you are the co-host now. Okay, just one minute. Okay, yeah. So the, the two conditions that we need for domina exhaustive domination that are different from domination in general. So as Hamzi mentioned, domination, like when we say A dominates B, this is so easy. Like we say NP dominates N because NP is higher in the tree and there's a branch. If we trace it, it goes downward. So we say NP dominates N, VP dominates V, PP dominates P and N, N P and so on. But exhaustive domination is different in that we have a set. Remember, what do we mean by a set? Anything we have within the curly brackets. So if we say A dominates, exhaustively dominates, we need two conditions. Condition number one, that node A must dominate all members of the set, all members in or within the curly brackets. Number two, there is no node that is dominated by A and not the not member of the set BCD. These are the two conditions. I think, yeah, Bushra has done it and now we can see your screen, Bushra. Thank you, Bushra, for your help. And thank you, Hamzi, for your suggestion and Sura. Uh, now the floor is yours, Ra. Just Hello. all you need to do is just to tell, tell Bushra to move to the following or to the next slide whenever you want to. Okay. <coughs> دكتورة بلش من الدومينيشن من البداية ولا أكمل محل بلش حمزة؟ You can do this quickly because you have 10 minutes but domination حمزة 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 explained domination. Okay. The next slide. Yes, we did this. Okay. So very quickly, yes. Can you talk about this tree very quickly? Yes. And this tree, we have we have a um, do, uh, a dominates the uh, dominates all nodes in the tree, but it only immediately dominates B and C and D. Mm -hmm. So uh, A dominates everything. A, B, C, so A dominates B, C, D, E, F, G, it, it yes. dominates uh, all of them. Yes. Immediately, this... immediately it dominates A, B, C, D. Yes. But it dominates also E, F, G, but not immediately. Only D dominates E, F, G. Excellent. Yes. Exhaustive domination. Yes, these are the co the two conditions. I I uh, I already talked about them. Show us the trees. Yes, yes. This is what I want you to do. Here, a a is 
exhaustively dominate the set B, C, D, and E. Excellent. But doesn't doesn't exhaustively dominate uh, F or H or I. Uh, it do, it uh, dom uh, and uh, G do, uh, exhaustively dominate H and I. Nice. It does not exhaustively dominate uh, the B, C, D, E, H like a constituent. Excellent. Why? Now the question Ro'a is why? You are right. You are absolutely right. But why? Because H has uh, uh, another node, which is G. Because H is not, is not even, is not dominated by A. Oh, has, right. uh, has another node also. Yes, H is dominated by G, not by A. Yes. Excellent. Now, why you said line one? Like A exhaustively dominates the set B, C, D, E. Why? Explain for us. A consists of B, C, uh, D, and E. Yes. Mm -hmm. B, C, B, C, D, and E are consists of the constituent A. Okay. So A here apply the two conditions. A dominates B and C and D and E. So A dominates all members of the set. And it uh, dominates by F also. And A dominates by F. No, no uh, okay, okay. And I'm, uh, no, no, leave F now, leave F. Okay. Focus on A. So okay. A exhaustively dominates the set B, C, D. Remember we said we need terminal nodes, terminal nodes. Yes. Terminal node. Terminal. So exhaustive domination is only between a node and a set of terminal, terminal nodes. So B, C, D, E, this is a set. How do we know that this is a set? Because you have the curly brackets and you have B, comma, C, comma, D, comma, E curly bracket. You. This means that B, C, D, is a constituent. Now the question, A exhaustively dominates the set B, C, D, E because A dominates all members of the set. A dominates B and C and D and E. Condition number two, there is no node G or H or whatever that is dominated by A and not member of the set. So here all members of the set B, C, D, E are dominated by A. That's why A exhaustively dominates B, C, D, E. But, Roa, can you explain why not the second line? A does not exhaustively dominate the set B, C, D. Why? Here, uh, we cannot exclude one of the, of the contents. Excellent. Why? Because here, E is excluded. E is dominated mm -hmm. by A. We cannot but exclude it. Excellent, but it is not a member of the set. That's why we say A does not exhaustively dominate. So if I ask you in the exam, does A exhaustively dominate B? Give me quick answers. Yes. B, alone B. No, no, alone. Be careful here. Does A dominate B? Yes. No. Does A exhaustively dominate B? No, no. because no. exhaustively uh, we have uh, to be, uh, uh, the Quran set can be. Yes, okay, right. So does A exhaustively dominate B, C? No. No. Does A exhaustively dominate B, C, D? No. Okay, carry on, Ro'a. The formal constituency, uh, definition of constituency. Constituent, the set Excellent. of terminal nodes, mm -hmm. is exhaustively dominated by a particular node. Terminal nodes are nodes with no branch underneath it. Mm -hmm. We say that. 
here in this tree, we have uh, A, which is a constituent that uh, contain, contains of B, C, D, and E. And uh, we have a const another constituent, which is G, uh, that constituent of H and I. And we have a larger constituent, which is F, uh, that constituent of um, D, B, C, D, E, H, I. We cannot um, uh, say A and G because they are non-terminal uh, non terminal nodes. Mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> so I remember in exhaustive domination, we said that Remember at the beginning of the chapter, we said that the constituent is a group of words that function together as a unit. And we said that is a, pre a preliminary definition. We are going to change it. Now, for exhaustive domination, now it is time to revise the definition of, uh, the definition of, uh, the definition of uh, constituent. And as Roa mentioned that a constituent now is a set, a set, a group, it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes, a set of terminal nodes, they must be terminal and exhaustively dominated by a particular node. So according to this definition now, A is a constituent, or we can say the set B, C, D, we can say the set B, C, D, E is a constituent. G is a constituent. The set H and I, is a constituent because uh, B, C, D, E are a set. This, I mean, just these nodes are, uh, form a set of uh, terminal nodes that are exhaustively dominated by a particular node, which is A. The same for H and I. They are, I mean, they form a set of terminal nodes that are exhaustively dominated by a particular node, G. Yes, Ra. Constituent in the previous tree, we have the constituent A, which is exhaustively dominates the set B, C, D, and E. And we have the constituent G, which is exhaustively dominates the set H and I. Mm -hmm. And the constituent F uh, exhaustively dominates the set, um, the, the set count. <laughs> the set mm -hmm. count because. The, uh, the set count A and G don't count. Uh, and, yani, F exhaustively dominates the set H, B, C, D, E, H, and I. Uh, we cannot uh, change, we cannot say, uh, uh, involve Include A and A G, G uh, because they are non terminal nodes. Yes. So F exhaustively dominates. So, Bushra, can you go quickly to the previous three? Bushra? The previous three, the last three. So, yes, we can say F here exhaustively dominates. Okay, sorry. F exhaustively dominates B, C, D, E, H, and, H and I, but because we say F dominates all members of the set, but here, can we say that this is one, one constituent and they are all dominated by a particular node? But A and G are not included. Why? Because A and G are not terminal nodes. They are non-terminal nodes. And the constituent, we said, is a set of terminal nodes, exhaustively dominated by a particular node. Yes. Yes, Busha, you can. How many slides do you have, Roa? 18. Now, where are you? Because now it is 1.10. This is the end of the Zoom meeting. So I'm going to give you. I want I'm to talk about uh, immediate, immediate domination and uh, the, the informal set of terms. Mother's daughter. And yes, daughter. yes. So, I'm going to give you 10 minutes next time, inshallah. Okay. And then we move to Zaid. Zaid, if you can hear me. So 
after 10 minutes, inshallah, uh, you can start your presentation about the proceedings. Thank you yes, very sir, much. Sir. Okay. I have Thank a you very much, Bushra. Thank you very much, Bushra, for sharing your screen with us. And also thank you for recording and uh, sharing the recording with your colleagues. Uh, Zaid, yes? Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm asking about my colleague, the girl that said that she also would present on precedence. She, she didn't, um, no she didn't, me. yeah, she didn't okay. confirm. She didn't, she didn't confirm. Okay. Yeah, so you should be ready for that, Hamza. And she didn't, she didn't confirm. Remember that next Sunday, we will not have Zoom meeting. Please check your e-learning accounts because I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you a short uh, question, like an assignment about domination. And next time, inshallah, uh, I, I, I'll give uh, next Tuesday, inshallah, uh, Ru'a Azgeli will continue talking about uh, dom exhaustive domination and uh, immediate domination. Uh, in 10 minutes, then we move to Zaid. So, yes, uh, since Zaid is going to present in, on Tuesday, then uh, Bushra Noor and I uh, are going to present on Thursday? Yeah, most likely, yes. Thursday, inshallah. So. Okay, thank you. Yes, so we are waiting for a tremendous presentation from you, <coughs> your colleagues, inshallah. inshallah. And thank you very much, uh, Hamza. Thank you, Ru'a, for your uh, excellent presentations. I mean, what I like is that just, I wanna give you the chance to present and this is what I want. I want you just to, to speak, to speak for 10 minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes in, in front of your colleagues, at least. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend and take care. And inshallah, uh, don't forget to check your e-learning accounts. I'm going inshallah to send you an assignment or well, next, uh, next, uh, Next Tuesday, inshallah, we'll continue. Thank you very much. Allah bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Hamzi. All of us, inshallah. Thank you.